What's up YouTube? Just wanted to make a short video about Karak mods tier list. And you might be wondering what exactly are Karak mods? Aren't they called Zana mods or Kirak? But Zana's gone. And I would like to mention that we are on the eve of one of the greatest announcements in gaming history as PoE will announce a new expansion. An expansion that will change the way that all ARPGs are played. That will revamp trade. That will give us endless endgame. That will have endgame that would actually adapt to our builds. And builds that will never be ending in terms of customization. I'm not really sure if that will happen. But in two hours we will roughly find out. But for the sake of this video we are going to talk about the new map mods. That you can put on with your map device. And which one is actually the most overpowered. And how you can currently utilize them. If they stay the same. Or the Atlas passive stay the same. But let's get straight into it. Okay so let's go over like the mods real fast before we start off. So Abyss is great in general. It's only 2 chaos. Fortune favors the brave is 3 chaos. And what fortune favors the brave does. Is it chooses 1 out of all of these. At random, so it depends on the quality of each of these mods. So for Abyss, a lot of people pair it in Glenock, and you would do it with a Scarab too. So if you use a Winged Abyss Scarab, I think it gives you a 100% increased number of mobs. I'm not exactly sure how many Abysses Abyss actually gives you, if it gives you one or two. But Abyss is great if you're trying to get a Stygian early game, if you're trying to get Jewels early game to sell, especially for medium builds. It's not exactly the most profitable thing in the world. Like you're not going to be running it like Essence and just be making guaranteed money or bank. You will probably be making some money, but it won't be actually crazy. As you'll see with most of these map mods, you will want to be using the Atlas region passives. Now this is if the regions still exist. So Abyss, you definitely want to pair it with Glenok. You definitely want to pair it with an Abyss Scarab if possible. And it's only 2 chaos, so it's not too big of an investment. It could also help out on some map sustain or just currency in general that might drop for the Abyss mobs. Now Domination is something that's like whatever. I don't really see it as being that crazy good. It's pretty much just it adds a few packs of mobs. It's around 3 chaos. Not really sure if it will pay itself. It will probably pay itself since the Domination mobs can all draw maps. But it's not going to be like this insane steady stream of profit like Essence or Breach that we have been accustomed to. So Bloodlines is the same thing. All Bloodlines does is it adds a few extra magic mob packs. And it also gives the magic mobs some mods like Corrupted Bloodline, Keepers of the Trove or something like that. So Bloodlines is good. Because it gives you plus one maps. Uh, magic mobs have the ability to draw plus one. So if you're kind of stuck on a map pool in SSF or something like that, then you should put on Bloodlines. However, maps I feel like are just so easy to get if you go to Delve that maybe putting on Bloodlines is not exactly the best option. But definitely use it if you're unlucky in SSF or if you just want more map drops in general. So Ambush will just add a few extra strong boxes onto your map. Most people will probably use this in Valdos. And you have the tamper proof where you can open the strong box twice and the strong boxes are corrupted. And you can also pair it with a sextant mod that gives you 500% increased quantity on a corrupted strong box. So if you also use it with a scarab, it could be very, very profitable. You could also use this with another sextant mod with unique monsters or corrupted monsters drop corrupted items. And this could be good for divine farming if you wanted to really do it like that so there's kind of a uh, some use cases it's not exactly the craziest but it definitely has its uses and next we get to the juicy part of all of these map mods and they're harbinger beyond and ritual so the later on you see this list so you will need to have more awakening bonus to unlock them not really sure if awakening bonus will still be in the game but it's since awakener has moved to a separate boss fight now with fragments it is very possible that you might just unlock these some other way. But Harbinger is very, very strong. I think it might add two extra Harbingers. Now, if you pair this with the Auspicious Watchstone, that gives you higher chance for rare currency shards. And you also have Watchstones that drop an additional stack of currency shards. 
this will be very, very, very strong for just like casual mapping. You do Valdos, you put in the map, and then you get this King Harbinger, and it drops a bunch of Exalted Shards or Ancient Orb Shards. And Ancient Shards should be still pretty expensive because of people trying to get Mage Blood and Headhunter. So I think Harbinger is super good. It's probably like the casual mapping option once you can get the Watch Stone. And even without the Watch Stone, I think it should probably be near break-even cost. But once you get the Watch Stones, it will definitely be a steady currency generation over time. Now Beyond, this is the cornerstone of the league and people love Beyond, right? So Beyond is extremely overpowered for Nemesis 3. The reason being that is that you can just roll rare monsters on your map and then you do Beyond and then you put Beyond Sextant and then you can have double or triple Beyond. Especially if your Watch Stones, you have like Fraught and that gives you a plus 1% chance. So, or is it demonic? I'm not too sure. But basically, Beyond pretty much means that this league will be very good for juice map farming no matter what. And Beyond kind of makes all of these other ones kind of worse because if you're going to do any juice maps, like say you had like a Biscarab and then you had like a Winged or a Bis Sextant, then you'll most likely want to be put Beyond on a map for this juice rather than putting on a Bis. So Beyond pretty much supersedes all of these other ones. And for juice map farming, Beyond is unbeatable if you use it correctly. Now next we have the big money maker of the league, or not really money maker, but the most expensive one. And this one is Ritual. Ritual is re really good for farming high eye level 86 bases. And Ritual is something you kind of need to invest in. Because if you want to farm the high eye level 86 bases, you need to buy 3 plus 1 level watch zones. And these can be a lot. You have to get like misinformation. And then I think there's ones that Stalwart Defenders and Terror Watchstone. So then you'll need those three. And Misinformation is extremely, extremely expensive. But if you get like an eye level 85 plus Blizzard Crown, you'll pretty much pay for itself. It'll probably be like 10, 15x at League Start. And it also breaks even a lot of the cost if you have vessels that you'll be filling up with blood-filled vessels. And if you put Ritual on the map device, you could actually fill it up. But if you get Ritual where you put in a blood fill vessel, then you will be unable to actually fill up the vessels. So if you take advantage of filling up the vessels, you invest into farming. And maybe you could even invest into the watch stones. However, you have to keep in mind that this time around, Ritual, you will not be able to get five Rituals anymore because they nerfed it. So it's not as great as it once was. But basically, now let's get into ranking these Karak mods and see what is actually going to be the best. Well, you should already know what's the best based on what I've been saying. So this is my bootleg tier list maker. I wasn't really able to use the other one because it allowed me, it made me use pictures. But basically, beyond obvious answer, S tier, right? Harbinger, I think, is A tier, not S tier. Abyss is probably B. Now these are very arbitrary rankings. I feel like when people like put these around, it's kind of weird. But this is mainly a perspective of someone who is going to be like trying to min-max it and trying to juice it as much as possible. I do think Ritual, uh, where do I want to put this B or A or B or A? I do think Ritual is very good, but I think it requires a little bit too much investment to start off. Ambush, I'll probably put it in B tier. No, I want to kind of move Ritual up to A tier, right? I think Ritual with investment is going to be insane. Domination, I'm going to put that in C tier probably. It is very good for getting extra map mods, but it really doesn't matter too much. And Bloodlines helps out its map sustain. But in terms of softcore trade perspective, these ones will be pretty much whatever. It does give you some extra pack of mobs. But this is it, right? S tier beyond, A tier Harbinger, and Ritual, but Ritual is only A tier if you invest into it. Harbinger, probably only A tier if you actually invest into the Watchstones. And you make sure you run all, if you do choose any of these mods to do, make sure you run it in the corresponding map region for maximum effect, right? Like don't be doing Abyss if you're not in Glenock. Don't be doing Harbinger if you're not doing Valdos. Don't be doing Ritual if you're not in Haywork. And beyond, I guess, is pretty general. And Domination and Bloodlines don't really have a corresponding map region. But basically, that's my tier list. S Beyond, A Harbinger Ritual, B Abyss Ambush, and C Domination Bloodlines. These could honestly be moved to D because I will not be putting it on my maps for 3 Chaos. 
But thanks for watching, everyone. I know everyone's pretty excited. Tomorrow, we will definitely know the league starters. I will be making my best league starter videos. And surprise, surprise, EA Ballista Totem, Pathfinder Poison's Concoction, Poison Spectral Helix are all on the list, along with Raider Lightning Strike slash Berserker. But thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you find more mirrors, exalts, and mage less than me. And see you next time. Bye.